Hi, welcome to today's webinar to learn more about the We Honor Veterans Hospice Partner Program. What is We Honor Veterans? We Honor Veterans is an awareness campaign developed by the National Hospice and Palliative Care Organization in collaboration with the Department of Veterans Affairs. This program was launched in September 2010. We Honor Veterans was created to address the growing need for veteran-centered care, especially as the need for access to hospice and palliative care by the aging veterans population was growing. At the end of the day, it is a simple goal to honor those who served at the end of life. It is important to recognize that community hospices are founding partners, community partners, state hospice organizations, and VA staff across the country share a common goal. That goal is to provide the best possible care for veterans in the best possible manner and setting. So what's in it for us to become a We Honor Veterans Hospice Partner? Hospices are able to extend their commitment to the community and a large segment of the population. Hospices have the privilege of honoring veterans through caring for them in their last moments of life. As well, they may increase the quality of care provided not only to veterans, but to everyone receiving services. Lastly, they have the opportunity to expand their relationship with the VA medical centers and other facilities. A big component of the We Honor Veterans Hospice Partner Program is our tiered levels. There are currently five levels our hospice partners can achieve. Levels one through four can take up to six months to a year to complete. Level five takes an entire year to complete or more. It should be noted that level five is for members of the National Hospice and Palliative Care Organization's membership only. If you have any questions regarding the Level 5 program, please email veterans at nhpco.org. The first level of the We Honors Veterans program focuses on veteran-centric education. We want our hospices to conduct veteran-Pacific presentations. All the presentations for all the levels can be found in our resource library. We want you to review the military history checklist and start asking upon admission, are you a veteran? We also want you to identify the local contact person at your VA medical center and or community-based outpatient clinic. Lastly, for level one, we want you to review the Hospice Veteran Partnership Guide. All level one requirements can be found on our website. We will be linking all the level requirements at the bottom of this webpage. On to the next level. Level two is all about building that organi organizational capacity. Building that veteran-centric culture is key. We want you to continue to conduct more veteran-Pacific presentations. We also want you to integrate veteran-Pacific content into your staff and volunteer orientation. We want you to conduct veteran-Pacific outreach presentations. These outreach presentations can be done online via Zoom, Teams, or whatever platform you choose to use, or it can be held in person or socially distanced. It is completely up to you. For further examples on what to do for your community presentations, please view the FAQ page on our We Honor Veterans website. We also want you to continue to integrate the military history checklist into your process as well develop ongoing relationships with your designated VA contact person. Another major component of the Level 2 program is identifying and joining a Hospice Veterans Partnership in your area. To find a Hospice Veteran Partnership in your area, you can locate it by going on our website under the Hospice Veteran Partnerships. Let's move on to the next level. Level 3 is all about building those strategic partnerships. We want you to continue the level two activities, such as educating your staff, giving veteran-centric presentations, as well as conducting veteran-Pacific outreach presentations to your community. 
A major component of the level three program is our veteran to veteran volunteer program. Having a veteran on your hospice care who has a veteran volunteer alongside them, that can mean a lot to the veteran and their family. To learn more about the veteran to veteran volunteer program, please visit our volunteer page on our website. Another component of the level three program is we want you to review the veteran practice examples by the NHPCO standards of practice for hospice programs. We also want you to conduct an annual evaluation of the military history checklist process and track trends that you see. A, another major component of the level three program is what we really want you to understand and develop procedures for assisting veterans and families to access VA benefits. Lastly, we want you to continue to actively participate in a hospice veteran partnership in your area. Let's move on to the next level, level four. Level four is all about increasing access and quality in your hospice program. We want you to provide an annual review of veteran Pacific practice examples from the NHPCO standards. We also want you to monitor veteran demographics using your military history checklist. So based on your military history checklist, asking are they a veteran and what era did they serve or what branch of service, you'll be entering that information in the partner portal itself. We also want you to evaluate your procedures for assisting veterans and families to access benefits. What does your procedures look like? Who in your office contacts the VA if a veteran has a question? We also want you to implement veteran specific question surveys. And based on those veteran specific questions, also known as the VSQs, we want you to develop a performance improvement project based on those results. So for example, if based on the survey, I find out that the veterans on my care would like to learn, want our hospice to have them talk more about their service in the military, then that's something we'll be improving on. And then you'll develop a plan based off of that. For more information on all level four activities, please visit our level four requirements webpage. We also have a webpage on our website specific to veteran specific questions, which outline everything I mentioned today. Lastly, our final level for hospice partners, level five. Level five is all about expanding and mentoring. Level five is for the National Hospice and Palliative Care Organization's membership only. Level five does take a year to complete. To start level five, you will have to commit in the partner portal once you achieve level four. You will acknowledge that you wanna see level five through and that you are a member of NHPCO. We also want you to recognize that it does take a year to complete. So when you submit your commitment date, that's when your year begins. So say if I commit on August 21st, 2021, I'll be due August 21st, 2022. Now let's get into the components of level five. Level five, we want you to continue educating your staffing community while focusing a little bit more on Vietnam veteran focused trainings. Since we do see an influx of Vietnam veterans entering hospice care, we wanna make sure that our hospices are prepared and have some knowledge and trainings. We also want you to continue your pinning ceremonies and honoring veterans in, in your community, either virtually or in person. We want you to review our standards of practice by NHPCO, continue your veteran to veteran volunteer program, make your own annual report bragging about all the great things your hospice has done over the past year of things that don't fit in the partner portal, as well, we want to develop a plan of care slash screening guide for veterans. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at veterans at nhpco.org or fill out one of the contact us forms on our website. Thank you.